Well, as you can see, uh, I've based uh, this stave somewhat on what our friend Paul Chapman over there <clears throat> in Northern Ireland has uh, come up with. And I've made a couple of small changes and tried to put my own interpretation into it. Um, what I had to do was take the free <clears throat> uh, Starbucks uh, stir sticks and, and cut them in two uh, to get them down to a smaller size. That was a bit tedious, um, but as you can see, it's working out all right. And <clears throat> once I start painting it, it'll look quite good in the end. I'm thinking maybe putting a base on it uh, just to stabilise it. Uh, about a very thin plastic card or card and just painting it black. So we'll see how it goes in the in the next step when I add in the other three dividers and then we'll get around to painting it. So now we've finished the construction aspect of it. I built it just a little bit different uh, from what you see in the magazine and also from what Paul Chapman did. Had to put my own individual touch to it. Now, uh, just with the usual soil conditions, wherever things move and buckle and get battered about, so not everything is at 90 degrees, and that's, that's okay. I don't have a, a problem with that. Um, next step is to paint it and maybe do a bit of weathering with some powder, so we'll see how that goes. I've set up my third hand, which is a, a great device. Uh, it, it enables me to use one hand for the iPhone and the other hand to paint. So what I'm going to do here is I've got some uh, burnt umber and I'm just going to try and coat the whole thing, see how it comes out. At this point in time, a rather thin coat, but that's OK. Uh, we'll go over it again and I will add uh, some black to it after this dries out. Anyway, you don't want, need to watch paint dry, so we'll catch up. So that's the first coat uh, complete with the brown and we'll let that dry soak in and then we'll either give it another coat of brown or just go straight into the black and build it up from there. And I'm, these are just ordinary acrylics, uh, crafters acrylic etc uh, which I found uh, at the local dollar store. So I think the brown coat is dry and what I'm going to try and do is just add a bit of uh, grey to it and then I'll, I'll go back in with the black and then maybe what I'll do is oh, try and scrub a little bit of this off I'll just kind of work it in. What I'm going to do on top of that is I'm going to go back in with some black. So now I'm just finishing off uh, the black coat and, uh, and then we'll let that one dry. So now I'm just finishing off uh, the black coat and, uh, and then we'll let that one dry. So now you can see that the stave has been uh, painted black, a few little spots I have to touch up but what I'm going to do as the next stage is take some emery cloth and just rub it up a little bit and what the next step will be to go over it again with some black paint As you can see, the texture that's coming out there uh, of the original, let's say, wood colour. And 
then I'll, uh, as I said, I'll go back in, I'll give it some more black paint, uh, maybe a dry brush effect, and then uh, I'll follow that up with some weathering. And you can see the grain and uh, the various boards that are in there clearly. So that's all you need to do and it just gives it an extra layer of value and uh, once I go back in with some powders it will look increasingly more realistic. Uh, but while I'm here I'm just going to cover up some of these patches that were missed in the process. And it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, the construction wasn't perfect and it's been bashed around by various pieces of equipment and shovels. Yeah, I think that's uh, that'll do it. So the next step has been taken. I've uh, glued, let's see if we get this in view here. Yeah, I've glued uh, a piece of plastic card to the bottom and uh, I'll proceed to paint it black and then I'll add in the coal. This is just to give it a base so it doesn't stand out as being white. And uh, once the coal is in place, it should be fine. Usual problem with gluing. I use crazy glue. Um, I hope that works. But when I start laying in uh, the coal and put in some PVA, it should work out just fine. Or maybe just let that dry for a bit. Or yeah, I hope you can see this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spread some coal through this and then I'm going to drop in some larger pieces And then I'm going to put the usual mix of PVA and water and hopefully that'll all stick together. I don't know, I'm not really sure how much I should put on but I'm going to leave it like that, let it dry overnight and then I can always add some more back in the morning. In order to get additional coal loads, uh, you know, I got this $2 at the dollar store, uh, a nice size uh, for coal, and I uh, put it in a bag, smashed it with a hammer a number of times, and then added in some acrylic. So now I'm going to mix it up, and that will give me additional coal loads. And you can see very quickly, uh, 
moving it around, patting it, shaking it, end up with a, a nice supply of fair size and irregular size uh, coal. So here we have this stave in place um, with the coal man digging out some coal. He's got a few bags full already and there's a coal wagon in place to drop off another load. I hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to subscribe, give me the big thumbs up and uh, a like and we'll be happy to do more. We'll catch you next time here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.